Am I the asshole for reporting my teacher and potentially getting him fired? My 16 female school requires us to keep our cameras on during the entire class. If we need to use the restroom we are supposed to privately message our teacher and ask to leave. I have absolutely no issue with these rules as I understand that online teaching is hard and you have to make sure everyone is attentive during classes. We also have this system where at the end of the week every student is emailed a Google document in which we are supposed to type out any problems we had with the classes during the week, e.g. a teacher is favoring a student etc. On Thursday, I had a math class which was taught by Mr. T. He's never really been very strict and had always seemed quite reserved and quiet. Of course, I've never been in a lesson with him outside of online school so I can't really judge. During the class one realized I had started my period. I privately messaged Mr. T asking if I could use the restroom. I waited for 10 minutes but he didn't reply so I messaged him again, still no reply. By now I was getting extremely uncomfortable so I texted him for the third time explaining I had started my period and I really had to go. He replies with this, you should have planned better. Learn to control yourself, er. Uh, what? I can't control my period. I tried explained that I couldn't but he didn't respond. I got annoyed and switched of my camera anyways and left to the bathroom. Once I came back, I saw that he had kicked me out of the meeting. I later found out that he had written me for switching of my camera and I was given a warning. I was pissed. Since it was a Thursday I received the Google Doc and I complained about Mr. T in it. Today, Tuesday, I found out, through my mother, who is also a teacher that Mr. T is being investorated as there have been multiple complaints about his behavior and mine was apparently the last straw. My dad, brother and few of my friends are calling me and an asshole as I could have just waited for a while instead of complaining and potentially making a man lose his job, especially during this time. I dk my feeling really guilty now. I don't want him to lose his job. Am I the asshole? Edit, oh my god. This is post and its comments are such a relief. I've been stressing over his supposed firing for the entire day. Thanks to everyone who commented, really helped me. I've also sent this post to my dad and he hasn't responded yet. Your dad, brother, and friends, who I am assuming are also male, are the assholes. I'm so fucking tired of men thinking we can just hold in our period blood the way you can with your bladder. This is a grown ass man teaching a class of kids that are probably half female. He should know the bare basics about menstruation and how to address if a female student is having an issue. You are not the asshole. If this was a long time coming and you were just the final straw, he should be fired. You didn't make him lose his job. If it happens, he did it to himself. Definitely not the asshole. NTA. Your dad and bro should really take a biology class too. Or just you new be decent family members. Peace. Teach is of the DCK or you would have been the first complaint not the last. R. All the men telling you about what your period is like and how you should handle it appropriately. Since they know from personal experience. S. It's so irritating how men just want to blame women for everything. The teacher is in trouble for his behavior, not because you dod anything. Not the asshole. Teacher dad and bro sure are. Not the asshole misogynists who don't even know how menstruation works shouldn't be in charge of teenagers or children. Also there would have been more straws for him later on anyways, the last one would have just been someone else's and he may have done something far more harmful to them. Is it only men who are calling you in a? Maybe they also have no idea how menstruation works. Ask your dad if he would have preferred you be forced to bleed all over his floor, or that other children be forced to bleed on their chairs and floor because of this man. Not the asshole. Dot. It was the last straw and he had multiple complaints anyways. Guys always think we can always just hold it up or we can plan it. But we can't. It can be way earlier than plan end, so not the asshole. Not the asshole of course it's men that figure you could have just waited it out. Next time anyone says that, tell them you're happy to let them clean your blood-soaked chair and clothes. Watch them recoil. You did right in complaining. I've done that too once, when I was 16 actually. I wasn't allowed to leave to deal with my business, so me being a pretty offended, feisty teen, answered that okay, but I'd bleed through on the chair. It obviously made him let me go, and after I'd taken care of business, I went straight to the principal. Never happened again. The males in your family are the assholes and so is Mr. T. A woman cannot control when a period starts nor can she control the flow of her period, leaks. This is considered an emergency bathroom trip just like being sick and needing to throw up. Can someone control when they have to throw up? No. Same goes for this situation. 
Shame on that teacher and shame on your male family members. It's so fucking annoying that other men try to protect an ignorant and power-tripping man who put someone else, almost always a woman, in an uncomfortable or vulnerable position and guilt trip the woman for standing up for herself which caused the man to face the consequences of his actions. It was because of his actions, which have been ignored or enabled by other men probably all his life. They should tell him not to do these things, not tell op not to defend herself which can be difficult enough for women thanks to the male assholes in this story and others like them. There is no reason for Op to question if she is the asshole, but here we are. Today, Tuesday, I found out, through my mother, who is also a teacher that Mr. T is being investrated as there have been multiple complaints about his behavior and mine was apparently the last straw. You was not the asshole in advance, but this makes it obvious. Not the asshole. His actions are what are getting him investigated and possibly fired, not yours. You didn't do anything wrong. He should have excused you to use the restroom after the first message you sent. Not the asshole and your dad and brothers are sexist. Your own dad and brother are calling you an asshole for this. That is seriously fucked up, I'm sorry, you are 100% not the asshole. If this results in him losing his job, it's because he deserves it. As you say, yours is the latest in a series of similar complaints. It is not your fault. You did just wait for a while, and it was an emergency. I'm so angry for you right now at the teacher for being an unmitigated ass, and at your dad and brother and friends for making you feel guilty. Not the asshole. the only person who is responsible for losing his job is the teacher. Like you said he's had multiple complaints. Not the asshole. It was the last straw. This wasn't his first offense. Your dad and brother should have blood start leaking from their dicks and see if they can control it. Not the asshole. you followed procedure by asking multiple times to be allowed to leave. He was a prat and doesn't know basic biology and he responded in an inappropriate way. You then gave honest feedback which was expected of you. You have literally done nothing wrong here, if he loses his job it's due entirely to his own actions. He already had multiple complaints against him so it's not as if his behavior is appropriate to other students. Not the asshole. I understand your stress over affecting his job but you weren't the only student affected by his behavior. This is clearly not a new issue. He is definitely the asshole here. Not the asshole. He was fired for his unprofessional behavior towards students. His fault 100% he got complaints and was fired. Not the asshole. Your dad and brothers don't know what they're talking about. That teacher was very rude and you prevented other girls from having to deal that kind of bullshit from him in future. Good job for speaking up. Not the asshole. Mr. T was wrong, so he is the only one who did something that would cause him to lose his job. It is not your responsibility to protect him. To all victims everywhere, when you report something bad that someone did, the consequences that befall that person are their fault, not the fault of the victim. Not the asshole. If people could control their periods I'm sure life would be a bit more simple, but it's not. He had multiple complaints on him before for this type of behavior, so you weren't his first offense. If it weren't you it would have been someone else and the same outcome would have happened. I also love how both your dad and brother weighed in on this as if they know what it's like to have a period. Not the asshole. It wasn't your sole complaint that got him investigate, it was the fact that he had several of them. If he loses his job, it's probably because all of the complaints are serious enough that he has no place working for the school. Not the asshole. Please update on whether or not he was fired. Also what is wrong with your dad and brother? They're acting like you're the whole reason Mr. T is getting fired when there were multiple complaints from other students. Not the asshole. Your teacher is an asshole. You shouldn't feel guilty. He obviously didn't feel guilty as he reported you for turning off your camera. If he gets fired it will due to his actions not yours. Pour some warm ketchup into your dad's lap and tell him to sit in it until you're ready for him to clean up. If your dad, brother and friends are siding with the teacher on this issue they are a dollar dollar holes. Not you. I used to teach and, of course, this issue came up occasionally. This behavior is unacceptable from a professional educator. You said yourself there were multiple complaints. You were not the first student to be treated like this. Not the asshole. There could be any number of reasons someone needs the bathroom urgently IBS, food poisoning, need tissue for runny nose periods. You just let people go if they need to, especially if they're potentially already embarrassed. Not the asshole. one person complaining does not mean they get fired, multiple people complaining means they do get in trouble. 
If multiple people have issues and don't complain, then he continues behavior and the school thinks everything is fine. If the school has been getting complaints and doing nothing about it, then they are part of the problem. Not the asshole what he did was way out of line and it looks like he has a pattern of inappropriate behavior with other students. This is not your fault. It's his. Not the asshole. This obviously wasn't anything you could predict, much less control. And if he's had multiple complaints then that's on him not you. Not the asshole any moron knows you can't control stuff like this. Had you had to pee? Sure maybe downing that 32 ounces of coffee moments before class isn't a good idea and you should have a bit of discomfort to drive that lesson home. But still, clearly his behavior was out of ordinary and yes he should face some discipline over this. Not the asshole yours was the final complaint in a long list of them. A 16-year-old should never have to ask permission to use the bathroom, and should never be required to disclose they are starting their period to a teacher, especially a male teacher. In future just excuse yourself, BRB, bathroom break, and go. You did the right thing, he shouldn't be shaming people for needing to use the bathroom and he won't be fired over a single issue, obviously there are other problems with this teacher. If he didn't want to get fired he should have behaved better. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Teacher's an idiot, he had it coming. Not the asshole. Seriously, does it even need further explaining? Also, are your male relatives from dark ages or something? Not the asshole. Oh my god, what an awful man. He's had multiple complaints so it's wrong to blame you just because yours happened to be the last straw. None of the complainers are to blame anyway, it's his fault for mistreating students and frankly, being misogynistic. Speaking of misogyny, it's also problematic that both your father and brother thought you were the jerk in this situation. Don't listen to them, don't let any of that crap get to you. You did the right thing and you deserve to be treated with dignity by everyone, including people with authority over you. Never forget it. I say this as a high school teacher, I find it weird that they are requiring you to ask permission to go to the bathroom in your own home. Not the asshole, you followed all the procedures the school put in place and he ignored them, he deserved to be looked into, who knows what else he's not following. Not the asshole. Teacher here. I hate bathroom policies where kids get written up. As long as a kid isn't missing class every day to pee I'm gonna let them go when they need to. Not the asshole. you made a complaint because your teacher wasn't responding to your texts. Starting your period sucks especially when it's at an inconvenient time. So you followed the rules and he ignored you. And then when you couldn't take it anymore, you took care of your bodily needs. It sounds like he's the problem since he's gotten so many complaints. Not the asshole. I'm also appalled at your father's reaction. If my 14-year-old daughter had been in your shoes, I'd be asking for the teacher's head on a platter. Not the asshole. If he wants to keep his job he needs to be able to empathize with students who have all types of emergencies, periods included. Not the asshole. Even if you hadn't complained, someone else would have soon enough. What he did is exactly what those Google Docs seem to be there for. Good for you for standing up for yourself. Not the asshole. Tell the guys next time they need to throw up, they can just clench their teeth and swallow. Not the asshole. So the people who are calling you asshole are all men, right? Perhaps they feel, as Mr. T did, that you can't control it. They, too, are assholes. The whole lot. Watch out, because next time it will be, he didn't really mean to grab your butt, it was just an accident. You can't destroy his life over something so small. Not the asshole. Clearly none of the people in your circle are mature enough to understand the female body. Don't listen to them, listen to what your body wants and needs. Second of all, if you have a rule set up where you're supposed to message your teacher, your teacher should be present within the second when they receive these messages during class. The fact that you had to triple text, shows that he can't do that, which is his fault, not yours. Also, the Google Doc is meant to give feedback. What did they think was gonna happen? If you can't take negative feedback like that, don't set up a doc for that specific purpose. Done. Not the asshole. The fact that this was the last straw is saying a lot. He had multiple reports before you. This wasn't a one-time fuck up for him. Not the asshole. There have been multiple complaints about his behavior and mine was apparently the final straw. Does your dad think those other people are asshole for reporting him? Does he think that the teacher is an asshole for the way he humiliated his own daughter? If you weren't the final straw, someone else would have been. His pattern of behavior is why he's getting fired, not this one incident with you.
so he, your dad, brother, and friends think you should have just sat there with blood soaking through your clothing and onto the chair? Or are they ignorant enough to believe that a woman can hold it in as she would her bladder? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. First of all, you're not getting him fired and neither is anyone else who complained. If Mr. T gets fired, it's his own fault for behaving that way in the first place. He'll have gotten himself fired, you see. Mr. T, your dad, your brother, those particular friends, they're all assholes here. Behavior like that, whether rooted in willful ignorance, or malice, or whatever, is entirely inappropriate in anyone, much less a teacher. Not the asshole you didn't get him fired if he does get fired, his own shitty actions did.